Okay, I'm going to show you this calculator trick that we did at the start of the year. We used it particularly for the bisection method where you've got to put multiple values into a function that might be a horrid function. So, for example, here I'm going to pop the 6 in and execute. And I'm getting from here where it says x plus 1, I'm getting 6 plus 1 is 7. I need to hit execute again to get the question mark. So if I go 9, the answer is going to be 10. I need to hit execute again. If I go 100, I'll get 101. The issue that you don't want to do is uh, forget to hit the execute again. Uh, then it doesn't work. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that by clearing. Uh, yeah, I just want to absolutely clear. Yeah, there we go. And I'll exit out of there. So what you do is you go shift vars. And there you've got your question mark and you've got your colon. So it's shift vars is really the thing that you have to remember. So I've put it there, shift vars and you get these two menus. So the thing you need to get into a calculator is question mark, and then the arrow is a button here, so the question mark, whatever you're going to input, goes to the X, and then the function of X is after the colon. So I could go X cubed, we'll just get rid of that, Um, x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 3. So a big one like that, you wouldn't necessarily want to enter a whole heap of values in uh, one after the other. So we're going to get a negative 2 and we get 5. Hit execute to get the question mark back. Put 3 in there, we get 45. Execute to get the question mark back. We could put zero in it. Get our three. Execute again for the question mark and 55, for example. Okay. So it's quite a time-saving thing if you can remember it. So the thing you've got to remember in your head is question mark goes to X colon. Okay.